What's up you guys, Shardmas Prime here, doing another 4K action figure review on three separate figures. We are looking at the Star Wars 6 inch black series, the Mandalorian TV series, Grief Karga, Quill, and Moff Gideon. Trying to get your Star Wars 6 inch black series figures, you can do so at- Search your feelings, you know it to be true. Dorkside Toys is a store for you! Link below. And while you're down there, I ask you show your support for the channel by hitting that like button. If you're new here, hit that subscribe button as well as the notification bell. My 4K videos are very, uh, not as thorough as my regular reviews. So if you see a 4K logo, it's just a quick rundown on these figures. However, I will have a fully edited Marvel Legends review going up later today. Anyway, I really like the packaging. I like what Hasbro is doing right here in making this whole collage thing going with the side of the box. On on each of these so you could see how they match together and they bleed into each other and then you could see how the backgrounds right over here look well if I pan the camera upwards you could see the backgrounds over there that's looking really awesome so I do like that quite a bit and then on the side it just says Star Wars or on this side it says Star Wars 6 inch black series and then you can see an image of each of the characters on the back of the packaging over here and they each have their own read up so if you want to check out the read up on Grief Karga uh, you can go ahead and pause it right now and then if you want to check out the read-up on Quill, you can go ahead and pause, read right now. And then here is the read-up on Moff Gideon. And if you want to read that, go ahead and pause it right now. And you get windows on the top and, and not much more at the bottom. So let's get to it and crack these things open. I'm going to start with the Grief Karga figure. Uh, this is one, actually, I've been wanting all three of these. But yeah, this really looks like Carl Weathers to me. I'm very happy with this head sculpt. I think that looks fantastic. I love how the face paint looks on it. You know, the eyebrows, the mustache, the mouth looks really good. It looks like he has blue eyes, which kind of throws me off just a little bit. That would be the one gripe I have with the face paint and everything. But I really like the sculpt aside from that Nick right there. The hair looks really good. Yeah, man, very good looking figure. And I like the texturing that we see with the different articles of clothing on the figure you know like you can see uh, that we get all this texturing right over here but then it's like a lot smoother and everything right over here it's like a half cape kind of thing it's kind of like a weird robe but i do like it nice texturing nice paint details i like that bright paint right over here it's like a light gold color you can see different texturing on this side. He does come with two weapons, and he comes with holsters for each gun. They are identical to each other, and they look great, so I like that. And you can go ahead and store right into the holster right here very easily, so that's cool. That functions well. I like the texturing on the pants. That looks great. It has a canvasy texture right there, and the boots look really good. And then, yeah, you get some nice articulation. I'm not going to go through the articulation on all of these. We know how the Black Series articulation works. They don't change it uh, between the figures, you know what I mean? Even though uh, this one does have the neck joint in there as well as the head joint. So that's a little bit different, I guess, getting that in there. So good movement and everything. And then uh, the hands both have a horizontal hinge. Neither of them move up and down. Here is the Quill figure. Definitely uh, looks just like Nick Nolte. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> but, you know, it, I think I think this was like a good match as far as voice goes and all that. And I think he had, or is this all animatronic? I think he had makeup on, right? But that looks cool. Yeah, he had makeup on. But anyway, uh, yeah, I like the headpiece with the goggles and everything. It's just like I never really put much thought into Nick Nolte actually, you know, wearing makeup and stuff, playing the character. Uh, for some reason, in my head, I just had an idea in mind that it was animatronic animatronic but no he had to have you know, yeah he's wearing makeup and stuff or anyway you get some nice texturing right over here with this scarf and even though this is a smaller figure i still like it this is pretty cool you know nice details on the gloves and everything he comes with this big old uh, blaster thingy right over here looking pretty cool does have a little bit of warpage going on that bothers me and you also get a strap right there a little tricky to get the finger into the trigger hole with the way it's angled it's like a sawed off shotgun kind of thing uh, you get these nice pouches on each side with some nice texturing on them and on the backpack as well that's attached to this scarf so you have to take the head off if you want to move that around or take it off which i don't know why you want to do that but anyway there's looking at the pants and everything i'm pretty sure you had the backpack on the whole time unless i'm you know 
I, I got to rewatch all of the earlier episodes. I actually have been. I like the articulation right over here. You get treads at the bottom of the feet. So that's cool as well. Peg holes and good ankle pivot right here. So again, the articulation is pretty much the same on all of these figures. However, uh, the wrists are going to be different. So he has a hinge that moves up and down on each side over here. No horizontal hinge. And the head is yeah oh and the hat comes off right over here too i did not realize that so hey check that out and nice hair and everything on the back of the head this kind of reminds me of bernie sanders now that i just think about it anyway no time for politics over here on this youtube channel even though i did make a uh, an exclusive video on the tron talking about uh cara dune yeah cara dune Woo. Whoa, that's a that, that's a lot to unpack right here that we will not discuss on this channel. So anyway, looking at Moff Gideon right over here looks just like Giancarlo Espinosa. I think they did a great job with this. I I, I think this actor is incredible. I think he's amazing, and I think uh, he's uh, really good for this part right here of Moff Gideon. I remember seeing the character first in the cartoon. So, yeah, the, this is great casting choice, as well as all the other casting choices. You know what I mean? Say what you will about Gina Carano. Uh, I think the character Cara Dune is awesome. I've always liked Cara Dune. I'm not going back on that right now all of a sudden. You know, like my Cara Dune. Sad to see my Cara Dune go. But anyway, uh, there is, a, you can see some nice mustache right over here. The lips are painted well and everything. Eyebrows, wrinkles, all that stuff just looks great on this figure. And then you can see that he has his armor, very uh, Darth Vader-y armor, right? I don't know, it kind of reminds me of Darth Vader just a little bit. But yeah, I like how you can see uh, some different textures going on with the gloves and all that. And the hands look good and everything. He's got the strap right over here going across. And he has the dark saber which looks really cool to me. Um, you know, they could have gone with white on the sides instead of clear, but uh, the clear doesn't bother me so much. And then there's the hilt. Hands look pretty good. He has a horizontal hinge on this side, and then this side it moves up and down. There's a blaster right over here on this side, so you can see that if I take it out. So he's got just a little blaster with a warped scope. I like how the holster right here has this nice stitching going along the sides. Kind of reminds me of like a, a revolver holster. So that's pretty neat. Nice details right here with the lining. The boots look really good. And he does have a cape that is removable. I like how it has all this red on the inside. So nice looking cape, and it has a port right over here. A square-shaped port that just plugs right in very easily if you just find it and yeah that'll go in there so very cool looking moff gideon i like this i like all these figures man now to measure out these three figures you can see that the moff gideon figure is standing uh, right at the six inch mark and then quill over here with all the tape measures behind him is standing right at the five inch mark and then we have Grief Karga standing closer to just under that six and a half inch mark. Then for some size comparisons, here we have Mando in his Beskar armor with my Daredevil 19 custom cape right over there. Looking pretty sweet. And then I have a Remnant Stormtrooper right over here. If anyone has a hold of those and they want to sell them, I'll buy them off you. I am looking for more Remnant Stormtroopers. I only have that one. And uh, yeah, for your average six inch scale figure, we have the Mar Marvel Legends Big Time Badass Spider-Man. Kind of improperly posed, but there you go. I think these are dope figures. Uh, you know, they've been out for a little while. People have been getting them, and they're very fun to have. I can't wait to get my full-on Mando shelf, like, in order, because it's just not like set up at the moment so i'm kind of like prepping for that and everything and yeah this gun right here is tricky for a uh, quill to hold that is a gripe of mine um but yeah having mando figures uh, i think is awesome love the mandalorian show um yeah and out of the three of these ah, dude honestly i would say the one i want i would want the most if i were to only pick one of them I would go with the Moff Gideon right over here. Um, and then, yeah. And then I would go with the Carl Weathers figure next. Or the Grief Karga. And then I would go with Quill last. But I really like all these figures. And at the price point, about 20 bucks a piece. <laughs> at the price point, about 20 bucks a piece. I'm going to give him a sub rating of, I love it. And uh, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button as well as the notification bell. And I'll have, again, as I mentioned earlier, a fully edited Marvel Legends review going up later today. I'll catch you guys later. Peace.
Hey, let me show some Prime videos. Hey, you should click one. Yeah, click on one of them. Or subscribe if you haven't.